Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we we'll talk about solvers. Uh, basically, we are going to look at how we can solve linear equations, how we can solve simultaneous equations, and how we can solve nonlinear equations. And finally, we'll look at how we can solve differential equations. But first of all, let's look at how we can write equations uh, that uh, include uh, symbols. So basically, we need first of all. Uh, import our simpy and I'll, I will import everything uh, uh, in simpy so I'm going to say uh, from simpy I import uh, star which means I'm importing each and everything and as well I will include this init initializing printing uh, tool and that selects uh, the best uh, printing tool uh, for my equations and I'm going to use uh, Unicode uh, which is set to true okay so uh, with this set let's begin by defining our symbols that we will use uh, let's include x y z and that is uh, under symbols so this is x y and then z so when this is set Let's first of all try to look at how we write uh, equations. So uh, assuming we have a simple equation, we are going to use uh, a class EQ to represent uh, equal signs uh, within these equations uh, so, so that we have uh, EQ equals uh, X and then Y. So when we write this equation like this, we simply mean that this is x equals uh, y but let's suppose we have uh, something like uh, uh, x minus y equals 1 so we need to first of all use the eq and then uh, have x minus or x plus y or just minus y and then finally we have uh, this is uh, then let's say 4 this simply means that uh, we have uh, an equation that is x minus y and then the comma simply represents the position where equal signs are going to be so in that case uh, this is what we have x minus y so this is basically how we can uh, one of the ways how we can represent equations uh, of course there are so many ways how we can write equations and but in this tutorial, we'll stick on uh, this kind of format. So let's basically see how we can write maybe simultaneous equations. Let's suppose we have uh, three equations. So we will try to uh, display all the equations. And we will begin by saying EQ. And then let's say we have X plus Y. Uh, and this is equal to maybe 3. And then we have another equation. I'm just going to copy and paste this one. Uh, down and then just uh, change a little and let's say this is 2 times x and then uh, minus y and then finally equals to 7 so if I display this uh, then I'm displaying two equations simultaneous equations uh, which is x plus y equals 3 and 2x minus y equals 7 now this drives us to another point of how do we solve these equations simultaneously but before we go to that further, let's first go back up and revisit. Uh, if we had one linear equation uh, to be solved, including one variable, how would we uh, solve that equation? There are several solvers uh, within SimPy, and one of them is the solve set, uh, and another is the lin linear solve, and then finally the general solver, which is the solve uh, function. But let's try to first of all apply uh, just one of them and see how it works. So I'll simply begin by uh, typing solve set and include the expression or the equation I want to solve. Uh, so let's say we have a general equation uh, which is raised to x raised to power 2 then uh, minus 1 and then comma 0 which simply means uh, you have x squared minus 1 equals 0 uh, before even we solve, I can try to display that equation uh, right here, EQ, uh, EQ uh, of x squared. So if I do that, 
uh, and I run then we have uh, both uh, I can display this both the solution and then the equation uh, displayed so just like we know when you solve the equation x squared minus 1 equals 0 uh, this gives you a plus or minus 1 uh, as the two roots of that equation uh, which we see down here as uh, the set of solutions so that's one way how we can solve uh, any equation whether linear or a nonlinear equation so let's proceed and see how would we use uh, how can we use uh, the linear solve uh, function uh, in the same way we could do the same thing but basically this applies only on linear equations uh, that means uh, we need first of all uh, write the objects of those equations so that takes me back to the other uh, form of the two equations simultaneous equations uh, we have up here uh, so what we are going to do uh, is to first of all create the object equations and I'm going to say eq1 okay uh, is equal to uh, eq uh, which which mentions our equal signs and then uh, just uh, what we have right here okay so this means we have already now our equation one object uh, mentioned and then I'm going to create uh, equation two object uh, which is going to be again uh, the same as what we have up there uh, which is eq 2 x minus y uh, that means equals seven okay so we have our equation objects done eq1 and eq2 let's proceed and solve these two equations so let's make a use of the solve uh, function and we are going to create a tuple of eq1 and eq2 and then we need also to have uh, a tuple of the variables that is x and y when this is done, if we run this, uh, this will give us a set, uh, a dictionary of uh, our solutions, uh, x being equal to 10 over 3, and y being equal to minus a third. So if you wanted just to specify uh, the solutions and print them out, uh, we could say uh, this is equal to solution, which is the solve, and then uh, I need to print then out my solutions. Uh, by saying uh, by using the print command and I'm going to say uh, the solution solutions to the equations are x being equal to so I'll use curly brackets here and then uh, y equals uh, curly brackets here and then I'm going to use the dot format command uh, to mention what the value of x is so this is on solution uh, for the first x and then uh, next is solution uh, of y okay so when I have this and print out I'm going to have that the solutions uh, to the equations are x equals 10 over that and y equals uh, a third minus a third so this is how basically you can solve uh, two simultaneous equations and let's now proceed to how we can solve uh, three equations at once so let's begin by displaying the equation so I'm going to say display uh, I formulate two equations let's say we have x plus y then my minus z and all that is equal to uh, 5 and uh, this is one of the equations containing three variables so that means we need three uh, equations basically uh, so I'm just going to change some stuff here uh, 2x and then make this minus minus maybe 3 uh, y minus z this is equal to uh, 10 and finally we have x uh, plus y minus 4z uh, equals to say minus 5 alright so now if we run and display those equations uh, this is what we have our equations are well printed out so next is to simply uh, solve these equations using the solve command uh, so I'm going to again in the same way create three objects eq 
uh, 1 equals equals the eq of this okay and then i'm going to have eq uh, 2 uh, being equal to uh, this equation and then finally uh, i have eq3 uh, being equal to this equation so when i'm done uh, with creating the equation object equations so the next target is to solve uh, those equations simultaneously for x y and z so i'm going to call the solution sol uh, maybe two and then this is going to be equal to solve uh, so again in the same way uh, we can use a list of all these equation objects 1 eq2 uh, eq and then 3 and then finally we can have uh, a list of uh, the variables x y and z so if i run that uh, this is our solution to if i run that that will give us x being equal 23 over 3 y 2 thirds and then z which is 10 over 3 so in the same way i would i could print out uh, the individual solutions for uh, x y and z so basically this gives us uh, a general knowledge on how we can uh, solve uh, simultaneous equations or linear equations uh, using uh, some solvers that exist within a simpy in python so let's have an example uh, we are solving uh, equations of higher powers or nonlinear equations so basically under this we are going to stick on uh, the solve set first of all let's print out uh, the equation and display the equation and see how it looks like so i'll create that equation as uh, x squared or cubed minus uh, 2 uh, times x uh, squared then plus uh, plus 3 or plus 4 times x uh, then minus 10 and then the whole thing is equal to uh, 0 when we display this equation uh, this is going to give us x cubed minus 2 x squared plus 4 x minus 10 is equal to 0 so now let's try to solve this equation um, by using the solve set uh, function uh, so i'm simply going to recall my equation up here and call it uh, and call it eq or just i'm going to copy this equation as it is and then bring it here and then this is in terms of variable x and then i'm going to solve uh, everything uh, and this will give us a very big expression uh, for the for the solutions of x that includes even uh, complex numbers uh, it's on the order of three so that means we need to have uh, three roots and of which these are uh, many of them are imaginary or complex roots as we can see okay so but this gives us a basic information on how we can solve uh, any nonlinear equation or any polynomial that is on any order uh, that, that that is given to you so let's look at one more example a solve set of uh, x squared then minus 4 and this is in terms of uh, of symbol x if i run and this is going to give us straight away a minus 2 and positive 2 which are the solutions uh, of the equation x squared minus 4 equals 0 if i wanted to display the equation first of all i would say display then eq uh, of x um, power 2 uh, then minus minus 4 then uh, 0 and then that would give us the equation and its corresponding solutions 